Meet Gemini, Google's revolutionary new AI that can understand the world like we do. I'm talking any media, text, images, audio, video, all processed natively by the model itself. I know, it seems like every other day we're hearing about some new fancy AI bot. But guys, Gemini is different. In fact, I go so far as to say this could be the most advanced, most capable AI ever created. Now, I can see some of you rolling your eyes through the screen right now. I've done some serious digging on this Gemini thing, and I really do believe the hype is real. Shall we get into it then? All right, let me break this down for you. So what makes Gemini so special? Well, as I mentioned earlier, it's what computer nerds like myself call a multimodal AI system. Don't let the fancy sciency words scare you. All it really means is Gemini can understand the world more like we humans do. So while other AI bots might just process boring old text, Gemini can handle that text plus images, audio, video, you name it. Crazy, right? Let me give you an example. Say you have a PDF file with some graphs and charts analyzing the latest stock market trends. Now, if you asked one of those single-mode AI thingamajigs to read it, at best, maybe it could understand the text paragraphs explaining the data. But Gemini? Oh, no, no. Gemini will look at those charts and graphs like visual information, understand the connections in the data, interpret what it all means when taken together, and answer high-level questions you throw at it. Can your Siri do that? Gemini is literally processing multimedia information the way our human brains can. The applications of an AI with perception abilities across text, images, sounds, and video are just mind-boggling. But does it actually live up to the hype? I tested Gemini on everything from solving complex math problems to captioning funny cat videos. The results just might surprise you. Now you're probably wondering, great, Gemini eats multimedia for breakfast, but so what? My microwave has buttons for popcorn and potatoes. Is it actually smart though? Another excellent question. Yes, indeed. Gemini has proven itself to be scary good at all kinds of cognitive tasks that require true intelligence and reasoning abilities. Not surprising given it was created by DeepMind, the leaders in making AI less artificial, more actual intelligence. In head-to-head -head benchmark tests, Gemini has achieved higher scores than any other natural language model to date, including the likes of GPT-3 and Claude. We're talking assessments on logic, critical thinking, reading comprehension, you name it. There was even one prestigious exam against human experts on a wide range of academic topics. And you'll never guess what Gemini's final grade was. 90% better than almost every person. Of course, Gemini still can't match humans across the board when it comes to general common sense, but it's slowly getting closer every day. The fact that this AI can now hold its own and even beat us measly humans in certain subject areas. I mean, that's just incredible if you ask me. Now, as advanced as Gemini clearly is, that level of multimedia mastery and mountainous mind power doesn't come easy, my friends. All those neural networks and self-adjusting algorithms require some next-level compute power. But thankfully, the brainiacs at Google and DeepMind knew not everyone would need or want a 12-foot-tall supercomputer humming away in their homes. So they came up with three different versions of Gemini tailor it to different use cases. Ultra, the big daddy. We're talking millions and millions of parameters trained on Google Scala data sets and infrastructure. This bad boy is for complex reasoning and multimedia tasks that need the full firepower. Pro, the middle child, still packing some decent parametric punch, but optimized to be served efficiently at scale. Great for developers building less resource-intensive apps. Nano, the petite little sibling, tiny but mighty, made specifically for on-device deployment without requiring phone and gadget makers totally redesign their hardware. Perfect for around the house, smart assistants and that sort of thing. So in summary, ultra for the academics, the scientists, or say programming the next generation T1000 Terminator bot, 
Pro for the forward-thinking entrepreneurs and startup stars, and Nano for the convenience-loving homebodies. Gemini has got all types covered. Oh, and did I mention the Pro version is totally free to try out right now? Pretty sweet if you ask me. Google Bard just upgraded with Gemini Pro. If you want to try Gemini Pro for free, just try this out in Google Bard. We've talked a lot about Gemini's brawn. Now let's discuss some of the wondrous things this brainy bot can actually do. I gotta say, the range of capabilities shown already has blown my mind. Shall we look at some of the most promising peaks at Gemini's potential so far? Let's start simple. At its core, Gemini is a beast at understanding text and generating well-formed natural language responses. Give it a complex question on rocket propulsion systems or the causes of the French Revolution, and that baby will hit you back lickety-split with a clear, coherent, researched answer, including citations. Give some specs for an app you want built, and Gemini can churn out full stacks of running code in Python, JavaScript, C++, you name it. We're talking server-side, client-side, flawless APIs. This coder's dream bot handles it all. Who needs a degree from MIT? But it doesn't stop at text and code. Gemini's image capabilities alone are stunning. This slick AI can generate entire blogs and websites with related pictures and graphics, or scan a phone pic you took of some weird plant in your backyard and tell you what it is plus how to care for it. That's just the tip of the iceberg, folks. Researchers have already built some impressive demos combining Gemini's coding, multimedia, and reasoning abilities. Like an app where you describe some hypothetical video game and boom, Gemini churns out the graphics and entire playable prototype right before your eyes. I'm talking rendered 3D characters, functional damage systems, particle effects, the whole shebang. Excuse me while I go quit my job and become a Gemini game dev full-time. And it doesn't stop there. Gram design tools that let you get creative by describing what images or 3D objects you want to see, and Gemini generates endless options, tweaks them as you go, until your perfect creation exists. Now I can finally make my dream anime, Waifu Wife, a reality. What do you mean that's not what it's for? I swear Gemini must have been trained by alien technology or something, because its abilities seriously feel almost otherworldly. There are demos online of researchers trying to stump the AI with weird cross-domain thought experiments, like find a connection between golf balls and the moon, or explain why this omelette picture isn't fully cooked yet. And I kid you not, Gemini freaking nails these oddball prompts every time. Frankly, it blows my mind this AI can piece together the reasoning, context, and logic behind such unusual multimedia puzzle challenges. The fact that it replicates human perception, imagination, and deduction so scarily well at times, well, it both impresses and kind of terrifies me if we're being fully transparent here, folks. So in summary, whether it's using Gemini to ace exams, accelerate scientific research, enhance creativity, automate enterprise solutions, or, you know, cook the perfect scrambled eggs. The possibilities seem positively endless with this puppy. Woo, what a whirlwind tour of Gemini's magic, my friends. As you can see, Google and DeepMind really have created an unprecedentedly versatile intelligence here, one that keeps inching closer to the lofty visions of general AI so many have speculated about for decades. Now, I don't know about you, but I, for one, welcome our new multimedia overlords. But seriously, though, Gemini does seem poised to make an enormous impact across industries and applications in the years ahead, thanks to its advanced reasoning and cross-domain mastery. Exciting times indeed. Let me know what you think of Gemini down below. And if you want to see me test this bad boy out firsthand, smash that like button. Hope you all have a gem of a day. What? That was solid YouTube punnage, and you all know it. Anyway, this is your boy PY Man signing off for now. See you soon.